we don't know how to treat these numbers yet because um, because we assume the testing wasn't that widespread enough yet, and um, so the uh, uh, the the scale of the pandemic is uh, yet to discover. Probably we we uh, probably the government doesn't tell everything they know, but now uh, the. This case is much easier because there is no uh, the barrier. The political factor doesn't work anymore. I mean that the vote on the amendments to, uh, to the constitution was postponed already. So, uh, so now we have more sort of uh, the government has more credibility because there is there are no political factors. But again, this is. Uh, um, this is uh, the, the, we don't know what these numbers tell us. We don't know what the numbers tell us anywhere because uh, it depends on uh, who who is that tested and on what occasion. Mm -hmm. And do you know anything about um, testing in Russia? How easy it is to get tested? Uh, how good are the testing methods compared to Europe's? Uh, well, uh, it's probably uh, everywhere the situation is very different, as I understand. Uh, there were there were problems with testing, as I understand, in 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 Russia. Starting from today, uh, I think two private companies um, are starting their own testing with their own uh, um, equipment uh, or, and uh, and medications and 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 and, and everything uh, and everything they need. So uh, so starting from. There were sort of rumors and, and the reports that the lack of testing was also sort of political because of what I already um, said before, because uh, be, be, because the Kremlin was not interested in discovering the real scale of the pandemics. Uh, the, uh, but but again, this is not the case anymore. So probably we're now at uh, the verge of the start of real pre testing process, and we will get uh, to some. Uh, more uh, trustworthy numbers and uh, to more clear understanding of what is going on. Um, you probably know that yesterday Vladimir Putin um, finally announced uh, tough measures. Uh, he came out with uh, his address to, to the nation during which he postponed this national vote on the constitution, which again I think uh, is uh, crucial to um, to address the threat um, um, uh, well and um, so he didn't uh, put Russia under lockdown uh, technically that he didn't announce that um, he announced a week off instead starting from next week but basically started uh, already today um, uh, the whole nation has a week off, doesn't have to uh, to go to work, and uh, all uh, everything uh, except from from grocery stores and pharmacies will have to shut down, including parks and uh, all the entertainment industry. So basically, uh, technically, it's not a lockdown, but uh, it sort of is. Uh, yes, public transportation is operating. But I have to say, it's also operating, I guess, everywhere, uh, mostly everywhere in uh, European cap capitals, or even in New York, uh, which is in uh, very bad shape now, as I, as I understand. Uh, there are also, but uh, but uh, the mayor also ordered uh, those uh, over 65 people over 65 to stay at home. It's an order. Uh, so uh, already today, as I as I heard, uh, preventive um, checks started on on the streets uh, by the police forces. So if they they, they you, you you can get sort of fined uh, if you're over 85 and you're and you're out, you can get a fine. So it's uh, it's not uh, it's not only sort of voluntarily kind of type of um, uh, lockdown. It's uh, it's not uh, uh, it, it, the government doesn't ask. The, go the government uh, tells you to stay at home 
if you're over uh, 65 and asks you uh, politely still to stay at home if you're uh, not that old. Do you think that this uh, quarantine um, and further restrictions that might happen, do you think it can be used by the authorities to uh, push through unpopular political decisions? Well, some decisions are already not so not so popular, and it looks like a, uh, a bit like half measures comparing to uh, I don't know if we compare it to Italy, which uh, which is nightmare as the way as we understand right now, uh, or or other European uh, countries, or even even the United States. But the scale of uh, of the pandemic is not that high yet, so. Uh, uh, we understand that uh, the government does, uh, and that uh, mostly probably applies to Moscow Mayor now, uh, they do uh, start, already started their preparations uh, to, um, if the pandemics will start to grow, and if there will be more sick and more deaths to come. And uh, uh, again, no one can stay, I, at least I didn't hear any verifiable, uh, trustworthy analysis that we are uh, going to uh, the same scenario as Italy or it would look like more as Germany, for, for example, so no one knows. Probably the scale is still uh, less or we are late a uh, couple of weeks. Uh, it's obvious that one week of this week off sort of lockdown that uh, was announced yesterday won't be enough, so there will be more to come. Okay, and can you tell me, like, personally, how has um, your work um, changed? Are you, do you know if many companies are now being encouraged to um, like set up remote working? How many people still need to go to their offices? Can you tell me a bit more of the personal and human aspect of the coronavirus? Uh, well, I know that uh, many, uh, many, uh, I'd say, responsible Moscovites already started self-isolation. Um, a couple of weeks ago, uh, that includes me, I, uh, I started to get out less um, uh, already some, some, some time ago in order to help uh, uh, practicing the social distancing so it would help this, uh, to stop the spread uh, of, the, of, the, of the virus. And many of us Moscovites uh, uh, did so too. Uh, um, for me personally, it didn't change that much. I only now don't, can't uh, do sports that I did before. Uh, uh, but I, uh, as, I, um, as I'm not a staff-based uh, journalist anywhere, I, don't, I didn't have to go to the office really, so it didn't change my life that dramatically. But I know people, very many people who, uh, who, whose life uh, lives have uh, definitely changed uh, a lot. We are all now practicing these uh, online uh, socializing and uh, I don't know, some drinking um, on weekends, uh, some uh, having a glass of champagne with someone through Skype or, uh, or whatever, or playing some games or just, uh, just chatting, that's uh, playing games again, uh, that already um, we started doing again a while ago and uh, and it just only started this new life